And now it's time for our daily look at the world of arts and culture. For that, we have our Iteho in the studio. Good afternoon to you, Iteho. Good afternoon. So it is movie day, and um, so some are, some great new movies should be uh, coming out for the weekend, right? That's right. Now we have some great new films to look forward to this week, and with the current success that animated films have been having, I think we can look forward to uh, several very highly anticipated animated films opening in the next several weeks, starting with the one that we'll be previewing today. Also, Leonardo DiCaprio is back with uh, one of the legendary filmmakers, Martin Scorsese, in their latest film. Let's take a look. Opening tomorrow is the 3D animation Tarzan, based on the classic book Tarzan of the Apes, written by Edgar Rice Burroughs in 1914. The film was directed by German producer Reinhard Kluis and stars the voice of Kellen Lutz. It's just one of the many different variations of the classic tale of the boy who is raised by apes. This adaptation revolves around the story of Tarzan and Jane Porter as they fight off a mercenary army dispatched by the CEO of Greystoke Energies, which coincidentally is the same man who took over the company that was run by Tarzan's parents. And another great opening to look forward to this week is The Wolf of Wall Street, directed by one of the greatest filmmakers of our generation, Martin Scorsese. It features an all-star cast headed by Leonardo DiCaprio, Jonah Hill, and the cameo appearance of Matthew McConaughey. The film is based on the true-life events of larger-than-life stockbroker Jordan Belfort, whose rise to riches were achieved by defrauding blue-collar American workers. Making millions through the trading and selling of penny stocks, the film documents his extravagant life of debauchery and drugs, all paid for, of course, by fraudulent money earned through his magical sales pitches. The Wolf of Wall Street will be prowling theaters everywhere starting tomorrow, the 9th of January.